Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series and the Kingdom Living Bible Study course and the Pocket Guides. And today I want to share with you how we are not to fear God. A lot of times, a lot of people say, uh, well, ooh, God's going to get you or that you should fear God. But what they're doing is they're looking at the Old Testament and the Old Testament is all about is a whole different dispensation, it's a whole different time, it's a whole different covenant and a whole different promise. In the New Covenant, I'm going to show you that we're not to fear God. Okay, so let's go over, let's look down here on the scripture we're going to go over and it's Luke 1, 71 through 78. And he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Okay, so saved from our enemies, that's important. Why? To perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. So he wants to, to perform his mercies and to remember the covenant that he swore to Abraham. Excuse me. Um, and what was that? That he would grant unto us that we being delivered, okay, we being delivered, out of the hands of our enemy might serve him without fear so God wants you to serve him without fear and we've been delivered out of the hand of the enemy and we're to serve him in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life now a lot of people think that holiness and righteousness is behavior but it's not the Word of God says that uh, Jesus made us perfect and holy through the blood of Jesus and that we are righteous because of the blood of Jesus so we can serve him without fear of not being good enough not being righteous not being holy I don't know why that always comes up like that um let's go down here and I shall be called the prophet of the high for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord okay talking about John and uh, then this is what uh, John's still going to do to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of sins. So Jesus came baptizing in the water, saying, uh, Repent for your sins through the tender mercies of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us. Okay, why has Jesus come to earth? To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of peace. And to guide our feet in the way of peace, if you look at the whole armor of God, the whole one of the armor, the, one of the armor pieces is uh, the gospel of peace on our feet, and he guides our way in peace, and that is because we have authority and dominion to bring peace wherever we go. Whatever is broken, we restore, and um, it's, and we share with people that they've been redeemed and set free, that Jesus did it all for them. So check that out. We are to serve God with without fear. And because he is our God now, he's our Father, he's not a God way off. Like in the Old Testament, he is our Father and our Daddy. And we're to serve him without fear and to love him. And so my name is Robin Bremer, and that's it for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.